doing the eye look that I did in my James Charles and Tati video. Honestly, the amount of comments. I have not seen anything like it before. This look was inspired by makeup by Kate. It's like a sunset glow. And honestly, I thought it just turned out all right. I didn't think much of it, but you guys really thought a lot of it. That is just so nice. Let's get started. Ah! So I'm just gonna prime using Prime Time by Bare Minerals. Oh my god, guys, I've done the worst thing. I, um, I'm on these pills at the moment. Won't say what, but I'm on them. And they make me so constipated. So I was like, you know what? I am going to down some laxatives. And it literally feels like there's a bowling ball in my abdomen. It's just, I literally feel like whatever's about to happen, it's not going to be very good. And I've also got my bleed at the moment. This is so TMI, but you guys are my friends, so like, I, I, can, I can open up and like tell you guys that this kind of shit. There is nothing worse, girls, if you understand. There's nothing worse having your bleed and diarrhea at the same time. You just feel like the most disgusting person in the entire world. But that's just what we are. We are bloody disgusting. It's actually just a little bit bloody crazy um, how the world works and how our bodies work. Yeah, it's I'm not having a good time, guys. It's um, But I just kind of needed to because I haven't shat in like um, four and a half months. So I'm just taking my foundation. I always use this. This is the Nashi Glow Foundation. Oh my god, am I running out? <gasps> That's not a good sign. I feel like I've got heaps in here. Whatever. This should do it. Oh, I cannot get over this foundation. Wow, by Post Malone. I'm a bit concerned about how I might be running out. It feels like that I am. And that's so weird because it feels like I only bought this the other day. So I'm very concerned and very worried. Now I'm going in with my all-time favorite concealer at the moment. Oh my God, this shit is just, it's just so amazing. Oh. This makes me look so flawless. So I'm basically just repeating the exact makeup routine that I did for my previous video. I just don't even look real. Going in with the Jeffree setting powder and fair. I'm just gonna put this under my eye and I'm gonna do some baking under my eyes and it'll also help with fallout. Also I baked under here. Fake to you guys that I've lost weight when really I'm actually at home eating brownies and lemon muffins in my spare time and drinking three cans of coke a day so things are going really well for me. I'm quickly going to do my eyebrows. I'm using the Kat Von Disease eyebrow pomade because this shit does not come off. My eyebrows are like looking like Chewbacca at the moment and um, I can't trim them because my disgusting boyfriend used my eyebrow clippers because I've got like special clippers and he used them on his toes so I've broken up with him obviously <laughs> And that is how you get a cater potato eyebrow. Some people just can't stomach this eyebrow and I just say that you're too weak. Yeah, some people might say this is too much but I just think it's not enough. So everyone can suck my ass. I love how my eyebrows look right now. I actually think this is the best it's been in forever. So and now I'm taking some P. Louise eye base because that's what I always do. And I'm just going to put it on this brush. I just put it on the back of this and wow, look at the creases there. That's so beautiful. And I just like to brush it on like this it's so fast okay so basically you only need two palettes and a pigment okay so the palette that I used to create the look um, was the blood sugar palette this one here I'm going to be going in so like a brush like this and I'm gonna be taking fresh meat I'm going to stamp it and build it up and I'm just gonna keep patting it patting it and patting it until it's just like super true to its color do you get what I mean keep looking up because you want to create that like that perfect like middle I think this is going like really popular at the moment because of the Kim Kardashian um, look that she did on the for the Met Gala I really want to recreate that by the way and then slowly super super lightly I'm just blending out because I kind of want it to touch my eyebrows like sort of but not really so just keep looking in the mirror, always just keep looking up and just seeing how the makeup is placed on you. Chucking that pigment on and then slowly blending it out just a teeny tiny bit. But yeah, it's just a lot of tapping and building up that pigment because we kind of want to leave this gap for the awesome strip. I 
Okay, now I'm going in with Coma, this color here, and I'm just going to really darken up, like down here, the edges sort of. It doesn't really show up, but it, it, it does, but it, it, you just really need to work at it. I'm gonna go with black. You can use any black you want, but the one, the, the palette that's near me at the moment is the this amazing one. Oh my god, I love this so, so much. And I'm just gonna use Illicit, which is the black. I'm taking like a, a little itty bitty brush, like this big, and I'm just going to really darken it just around here and then slowly blend it up. That's literally all you need. Like, you don't need to do it too much. And that is basically all I did. Go back in with blood sugar and I'm gonna go in with, so the one that we were just using before, this one, and I'm just going to really super deep, super deep, lightly, as in like literally, if you could see, I'm literally like, like literally just doing that, just to blend it out a tiny, Incy wincy bit, literally just scratching my eye. I'm gonna be taking Prick, this color here, over here. This is where I literally shit myself. This kind of looks like that we've ruined it. We haven't, don't worry. <gasps> okay, and so now this is where it gets so fun. This is just the most exciting part. I'm so excited for this. This is where we add the pigment, and the pigment. I, which I totally think you guys should invest in. I absolutely love them. It is peaches and cream pigments. Um, they're just like loose glitters and like pigments and stuff like that. They are absolutely amazing. The one that I'm using today is called Rattlesnake. And oh my god, the reflect, as you guys saw, is amazing. So to stick this pigment down, I really recommend using like a glitter primer. So I'm going to be using the NYX glitter. Take a little bit. And I'm going to go all the way down here and kind of tap it out to where the red is that we just laid down okay and then I'm gonna dip in with the pigment which is <gasps> literally breathtaking I swear to god it is so beautiful oh my god you just wait so I'm just gonna dip it in and watch this this is what makes it. Oh. I'll link down the website to get this pigment. It is literally amazing. Okay, so lip front on, and it's a little bit even. It's not really that even, but it didn't look even in my last video, so. <laughs> Yay! Um, it looks a bit patchy on the sides. Sorry about that. I'm pretty sure that you guys will be able to not make it as patchy, but I'm just a little bit stupid. Um, so we're just gonna get rid of the bake and the fallout, which there's not a lot of get rid of here and now this is just the easy part I'm just going to basically what we were using this whole time which is fresh meat this one here and I'm just gonna put it in the just in like my waterline area And then I'm gonna take some coma and darken it a little bit more. I'm literally just gonna put lashes on, so just give me a sec. Oh, okay, my lashes are on. Quickly bronze up my face, and I'm just gonna be taking my Park Ave Princess. I think that's what I, yeah, I definitely use this. Bronze myself up just a little bit. Oh my God, it's a little bit um, noticeable that I um, did a bit of baking there, didn't I? Like, don't really hide it well, do I? Oh, honestly guys, can someone please tell me what to do with my hair? It is just a bloody, mess it's just I, if it was straight it would be a completely different story but I didn't know that I was going to have Post Malone straight up afro now I'm going to take some hula the normal hula everyone loves and knows what the hell what there's always an issue when I do makeup eh like there's always there's always a dilemma that happens but you know 
oh well. I'm not JLo's makeup artist, am I? I'm just me. I'm just little old pathetic me, so like, I shouldn't worry too much about it. I'm not professional, as we all know. Now everyone has cancelled Lime Crime, and I cancelled them too for a really long time, but their blushes are absolutely amazing. They are just so beautiful you have no idea so it's wet and then it dries down to like this beautiful matte like I honestly don't think I'll be able to use another blush ever again in my entire life this is just amazing I really recommend this this is in gigabyte this is what it looks like I look like Neapolitan ice cream that's just the look these days you know while everyone's drinking tea I'm drinking coke. This just ties the whole look together and it's just like heaven on earth. I am using Money Honey by Jeffree Star and it is literally the middle part. So if you don't have that pigment, I reckon you could use this. Um, just really wet it sort of and make it a little bit more like glidey. Oh bro, it's a so good. It's so good! I just put it all over my face. It just looks so amazing with this. Um, also, that reminds me, I like to use a bit of this and put it in the inner corner. And that really ties the whole look in. I don't think I did that last time, but I should have. And I'm doing it now. I've got the opportunity to, so I'm going to do it. And the lipstick that I used was actually actually a lime cream lipstick and it was in teddy bear so this is it here but and then i was like oh my god androgyny is probably going to be like a really cool look as well so i'm going to try that yeah it's going to work oh my god i'm really running out of this i use this so often i got such uneven lips i can never make them look symmetrical finish the whole thing off with the dewy set spray this is the look. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was like helpful in any way. This would be such a cool look with like any other color. But yeah, I really recommend investing in peaches and cream pigments. They are just to die for. And they're, oh my God, they're just incredible and amazing. And 